Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is Crypto Elite. In today's video, we are going to talk about the weekend and why it was such a bear market over the weekend. There's a lot of reasons why people think it is, and I'm going to talk about that reason, the main reason at least. There's probably other ones out there, but the main reason people think it went down this past weekend is because of the digital currency group and this is a humongous player in the crypto space even if you've never heard of them and we will dig into exactly who they are and why potentially they could cause the next crypto crash or follow-on crash to the previous couple crashes from terra luna to three arrows capital to ftx to celsius this could be potentially another big player out there and like i said this past weekend we saw some Something like this. Filecoin was down almost 30%. When I checked my phone and I saw that, I was pretty shocked. Uh, not that I was shocked because it is an altcoin, it's not in the top 25, but it's still a humongous drop for a top 50 altcoin. There is Flow, Stacks, API3, Lipeer, all of these cryptos, they have one thing in common, and you'll see that soon. Uh, spoiler, it has to do with DCG or Digital Currency Group, but all of those big players drop down quite a bit. And it has to do with Digital Currency Group and just who they have as their subsidiaries. As you can see here, it's this Genesis. This is one of the, the major ones. Grayscale, I know you've heard of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, and that is part of the DCG or Digital Currency Group. There's Coindesk, Foundry. There's a lot of these large companies out there that it, they're smaller comp sub companies part of the DCG. And that is why if DCG or digital currency group is starting to show weakness, the entire crypto space will also show weakness. And if you check out their portfolio, there's a lot more names than just those six that I just talked about. They have a lot of different sub companies and sub assets. So that is the importance of it. And we'll check out a couple articles here. The first one is the Community Fears Digital Currency Group is selling as altcoin values tank massively. And that's kind of a quick summary of what I talked about in the intro. But in the last 24 hours or over the past weekend, several DCG related assets like Filecoin, Near, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, they all saw massive losses. Bitcoin did too, Ethereum did as well. But particularly the DCG base one. So while it was unclear why the assets experienced a sudden sell off during the period, crypto markets just had a very turbulent weekend. And part of it was because of the FTX founder, Sam Bankman Freed was arrested, which was good news for everyone. But there's also the speculation that DCG is selling heavily. And one of the reasons is because of Grayscale, there is a huge disparity between the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, the price of it, and the price of BTC or Bitcoin, which we'll see here in a second. So he would not be surprised, and this is an analyst, would not be surprised if this sell-off is a desperate attempt to liquidate what else they could have before announcing bankruptcy soon. And that is one hypothesis as to why DCG and the DCG type assets are selling off so heavily. And we'll check that out here in a second. But the main thing that I also wanted to focus on is the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust discount reaches a record 50% difference, which is insane. Like I said, you probably do know Grayscale. We'll check out the website here. It's got about $10 billion in assets under management. One of the main ones is the Bitcoin Trust. There's other uh, cryptos out there that they also have as well. The past 12 months has not been too pretty, but that's the entire crypto space as well. But since inception, it's done pretty darn good. And we'll check this comparison out. This is something that puts it in perspective for how much they have been selling. So this is their overall portfolio right now. As you can see, they still have a lot for the uh, basic attention token. They have over a million dollars for the Bitcoin trust, $10 million uh, for Ethereum, $3 billion. And hopefully I said billion with Bitcoin. As you can see, there's some big numbers here. And it's these big numbers that causes the entire space to move so suddenly and so much because us as retail investors, we have nowhere near as much money or power to move the overall market. So this is something that I'm pulling on uh, Saturday. Now, if you check out this, this is from earlier, I believe it's April. I used the uh, Wayback Machine to look at the same website, but this is as of April 26, 2022. So we'll check out the Bitcoin or the basic attention token trust, 
four million dollars compared to one million so they sold three million dollars bitcoin had 24 billion dollars versus the 10 billion dollars so they've been selling a lot if you just freeze the screen for the video over here and compare it to this screen over here you can see that they have been selling extremely heavily and that is part of the reason why the entire crypto space is going down because of these big institutions much like grayscale and other vcs that also have millions and billions of dollars they have been selling heavily so that is something that i want to bring up it's pretty eye-opening to me the last thing that caught my eye this past weekend was uh, this exchange to pre-fund lock DCG assets worth almost $300 million amid the liquidity crisis. And that is once again, a DCG or digital currency group affiliate is having some issues. And as you can see here, I'll just read the first paragraph, the DCG and its affiliates, uh, which manages $300 million in deposits and digital assets of the exchange for off chain staking services, suspended repayments, citing liquidity problems amid the bear market. Um, so they are saying that they are unable to get that $300 million because of the liquidity crisis. And that could be another reason for the mass selling. So that's the, the things that I wanted to leave you with, that there's $300 million that DCG potentially could not uh, have liquid at the time of this article, which is causing problems. The disparity between uh, GBTC, uh, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, as you can see here, I forgot to show you this, but there's a 50% disparity between what the trust price of Bitcoin is and the actual price of Bitcoin, which is 50% lower than the actual price of Bitcoin, huge problem, as well as the, the immense selling that Grayscale has done over the past couple of weeks and months, which is a huge problem as well. And then just the overall weekend where we saw this massive flow of capital move away from the DCG portfolio assets. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like I said, all that caused a very turbulent weekend. Right now I can finally see some green on the uh, coin market cap, which is good to see. And I've been taking this time to purchase crypto every single day. If you're interested in what I've been purchasing, you can follow me on my Patreon. If not, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel would mean a lot and I'll see you on the next one.